Hi there Virgo, thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 11th of May. The planets have been pushing you of late to make some changes, but those changes don't necessarily have to focus only on your personal habits, interests or home life. They can also involve your work or professional or worldly interactions. And your ruling planet Mercury this week, in the top of your scope, is actually going to be sparkling brilliantly with Jupiter. This suggests that something you learn, perhaps from someone who gives you a quiet word of advice, can be very much to your advantage. It could be the heads up on some kind of job opportunity. Perhaps they're just going to give you a little bit of a nudge. On the other hand, perhaps you're going to be subtly mentoring someone yourself. But the sun still can see you rather restless but it is going to be squaring up with the moon from Monday in a quarter moon, which provides a backdrop for the rest of the week. And that suggests, even if you are wanting to make some changes, don't go at it in a helter-skelter way. Apply your normal thoroughness, attention to detail and planning. And if you do, you're much more likely to get the best results. You could also be reminded this week of some obligations and responsibilities, which at first may, may, may see you groan a little bit. But if you're really up for the challenge of taking on more responsibility, and perhaps being more flexible about your work, for example, or developing the goals you have in life, the move of Tuesday of Mars to join with Mercury at the top of your scope is really significant. But he is going to be in opposition with Saturn. If this rings a little bit of a bell, it's because Mercury did this in the first week of this month, and the Sun's going to do it in week three. So it's basically saying to you, any changes you want to make probably are going to have an impact on how you feel at a more emotional level or where you live. So to access your ambitions and to take on some kind of bigger challenge, it won't necessarily be easy but it's really up to you to decide just how much you want this, how much you want to succeed. And what's going to help you hugely this week is a delightful link between Venus and Neptune. Now these two are going to be angling up in such a way that you could encounter someone this week who's very, very different to you. But this person may be like a breath of fresh air. If up until now someone has just seemed to be a friend, Perhaps there's going to be a hint that it could be something more. This aspect in the second half of this week can be one of true love, but it can also be one of intense disappointment if we suddenly put someone new we meet on some kind of pedestal. So you are going to need to get to know someone slowly and thoroughly before you make a true decision on their compatibility with you. But if you do, amble into some kind of arty or creative environment and get chatting to someone, they could at the very least be a real meeting of minds. But your sense of confidence and your desire to make an impact on the world at large is certainly going to grow from this week onwards. It's just down to you on how much you want to sacrifice some other elements of your life in order to achieve what's important to you. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.